it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And you know what? It's a great time to have pride in our community because Latinos are the next big thing. And speaking of the next big thing, our first story might fit the bill. Born in Dominican Republic, actress Amy Carrero is conquering both old and young fans as the star of Freeform's new hit sitcom, Young and Hungry, and as the voice of Disney's new animated series, Elena of Avalor. The character is Disney's first animated princess inspired by diverse Latin cultures. Up next, we have Amy talking about her history with Disney, as well as why it was important to cast Latino actors. Check this out, it's Amy Carrero hanging with us right here on American Latino TV. My name is Amy Carrero. I voice Elena of Avalor. On your left! Whoa, <laughs> On your right! Hey! <laughs> Racing through the palace? This is no way for princesses to behave. The show is about a young princess who finds herself in very peculiar circumstances. So um, she was just living her life like a normal 16 year old and an evil sorceress came and took over her kingdom. And um, she was trapped in an amulet for 40 years. So all these 40 years go by, she comes out, she saves the kingdom, she takes it back from the, um, the sorceress and now she's like, oh. It's my kingdom. I guess I have to rule these people. And so even though she's only the crown princess, she can't be queen yet because she's not of age, um, I think it's just a story, of, a universal story about a young person trying to find their place in the world and trying to be a good leader. Skylar! Is everything okay, princess? No. My sister was taken. No. Isabel? And just when I thought the kingdom was getting safe. How I feel about Elena being pan Latin, um, I think it's you know I think it's a good thing because it doesn't exclude anybody. And I know as a Latina, I'm Dominican Puerto Rican. You know, um, once you get into you know maybe choosing an, a particular culture and just focusing on that, it sort of limits your storyline. So this way, you get a little taste of many cultures. I'll take charge like the leader I know I can be and take care of all the. The music on Elena of Avalor has been, for me, the most exciting challenge that I've had in my career as of now, because I've always loved singing. I have a musical theater background, but I've never sung in a booth professionally before, so um, I had a lot of training with um, a voice coach, and we did a lot of work to kind of bring her to life through song. Um, and I think people are really going to enjoy it, because personally, I think it's the the thing that people will identify first to so be like oh that sounds like the music I used to dance to in my grandma's living room you know what I mean or that sounds like the salsa I danced at my quinceanera or whatever so I think the music is the, the fastest way that people will realize we're in a different world I'd been working on the show Sophia the First, which I also created, and in that show, Sophia meets all the classic Disney princesses, and while writing all these princesses, uh, I discovered that there was a huge demand for a Latina princess, and, and a lot of people have been clamoring for that, and I was thinking at first about how to incorporate a Latina princess into that show, but I soon realized that it, that kind of character deserved her own series, and so I just had to come up with an idea that would be big enough for that character that would really separate her from the other classic Disney princesses. Just hurry! We're running at a bridge. Oh yeah, whenever you see a Latino character, most likely they're voiced by a Latino. That was very important to all of us, the director, Craig and I, that Latinos uh, get to play Latinos. And they get to, what I was excited about when we were writing these characters were, I knew that they weren't, they were coming in to play characters who were oracles, who were wizards, who were chancellors, and these were, uh, these were uh, jobs that they probably didn't weren't offered to them before, but they're offered to them on this show. So that was exciting. 